what's up guys this is Stan and you're watching training codes so in today's video um, we're gonna make our splash screen and icon and I'll just show you how to generate your icon which is going to work on all the device on all the iPads on all the Android phones okay now when when we talk about the uh, splash screens the splash screens are kind of uh, every splash screens have different uh, size on the different iPad or different phones okay so uh, it won't work if we make uh, a single splash screen okay by uh, by HTML or something like that but uh, we know the problem with Ionic is uh, they don't have a good startup uh, I mean they don't have a kind of nice splash screen because it takes a lot of time when you just test that splash screen on the native uh, native Android app or native iOS app okay now what we can do over here is um, we can create some HTML stuff or something like that but in this video we are going to use the code of our native uh, splash screen um, the Ionic have a problem is that the startup of an app it takes a lot of time to start your app okay uh, but we can implement the code of our uh, native plugin okay and um, I'll just show you what you what you have to do if you want to make your app uh, have a splash screen like this okay so I have already done I'll just show you a step it's too easy it's just a two or three step and you can have this setup into your uh, native phone or into your uh, emulator now I have I have running my uh, my app into the emulator so that I can just show you okay I can just show you people so uh, as you can see over here I have just made a simple icon I have not focused more on the icons just saying and a okay so when I just click on that I'm going to get a nice um, splash screen and I'm going to get that loader okay now if you want you can just go ahead and uh, just set that loader to be false from the config.xml file now what you have to do over here is if you want uh, you can just go ahead and create a splash screens for a different device for all the iPads for all the Android phones with a different screen resolution okay and to do that what we have to do is we need two images okay the first one is for the splash screen and the second second one is for the icon okay now while taking or while making a splash screen in the Photoshop, uh, your resolution should be uh, something like 3000 or 3000 or uh, 3000 by 3000 uh, for splash screen and for um, your um, for icon it should be minimum one 150 or something like that. You can just go ahead and. Uh, take uh, you can just go ahead and take a look on the blog of the ionic they have just mentioned what should be the minimum size of your splash screen and your icon but over here I have used is um, the for splash screen I have used something like 3000 by 3000 and for um, icon I have used uh, 2000 by 2000 that's enough okay so uh, you can just go ahead and create your own splash screen and your icon if you don't want I have just mentioned the I have just mentioned the link in the description you can go ahead and download the icon and the splash screen as well so the same splash screen which we have designed in the sketch is just over here okay so uh, what you have to do is once you generated the icon into the splash uh, into the Photoshop I'm sorry if you have generated the icons and the splash screen in the Photoshop what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and open the project which where you have just saved your um, ion uh, Cordova project or the ionic project directory uh, you'll be something you'll be getting something like this on the screen and once you go inside the resource you're going to get two files that is ionic.png and the splash.png now what you're going to do is you are going to name your file as splash.png when you're just importing your png file from the photoshop and icon.png when you're just importing your icon.png from your photoshop so once it is imported you're going to go ahead and paste it into the resource folder of your ionic project once you have done with that what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up the command line okay and you should be inside the project directory so i on the uh, as you can see over here i have opened up the uh, project in my visual studio and i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to just fire a single command and that command is going to make all this splash screen for all the device into our project okay so once i just go ahead and heat up this command um uh, just like it only code of our resource so once i hit that i'm going to ask the password i'm going to give the password just like this and i'm sorry 
and they're going to generate all the splash screens for all the device okay so if you if you can see over here uh, the command is processing and just making all the all the and has made all the things or all the uh, icons for all the device and all the all the splash screens for all the device okay so if you will go ahead and take a look on the uh, in the resource folder uh, we have resource folder we have Android and iOS so if you, if you will just go ahead and take care into the Android you're going to get icon and splash so just go ahead and you're going to have different numbers of icons and you're going to have different numbers of splash screen which is generated by all of the by that command that is uh, ionic code of our resources so it will just generate the uh, splash screens for landscape mode for the different landscape devices okay so um, then the command will just take care for all those things now where should you take care of for all those things is um, you're going to open your config.xml file and first of all you're going to uh, make change your uh, widget id so you're going to make io dot something uh, whatever you want maybe your name or something so that you can just when you just run your project on the native device uh, it will run properly okay so it won't give any error that the this id cannot be registered or something like this because when you do that with the um with the uh, Xcode it just gives you an error that this ID cannot be registered or something like that so What I have faced is I'm telling you okay So just go ahead and change the ID and just go ahead and change the name to the news app or whatever you like okay Now once you have done with this thing you're going to go ahead and um, uh, Just go ahead and run your uh, Ionic uh, app into your native device or into your um, maybe uh, on emulator okay so um, as you can see over here I have already run my uh, app so um, once you are done with these uh, ion resource command you're going to get your icon right away on the screen when it when it is installed into the native uh, device or the native app okay so uh, you're going to get the plugin and you're going to get the uh, I mean you're going to get the icon I'm sorry and you're going to get the splash screen so when I just click over here I'm going to get the splash screen right away it will not just showing on the screen because it is um, saved and it is refreshing right now so we got the news app we have the uh, image behind which, which we have same which are designed same to this catch okay and bam it's open so this is the way you can simply organize your best splash screen and which will give you a professional look as a native app okay so um, that's all for this uh, for this video okay and um, I have just worked uh, somewhat uh, I have just uh, changed the header and the title color from the next video we are going to design our a page that is going to be our um, what is that uh, that is going to be our um, I guess I don't know that I have not started yet so uh, probably I'm going to design the categories page and that will be our uh, next tutorial so um, probably I'll be I'll be starting designing by tomorrow and I'll be doing the video tomorrow itself okay so for this video um, that's all and I'll see you in my next one and um, if you if you have faced some queries or if you have some faced some problem just let me know inside the comments so that I can help you out okay and the another thing is um, uh, okay so I'll just see you in my next one bye bye